What is a money order? Goes to Noah. Uh, the money order, uh, wouldn't that be like ordering checks? The check. Hello and welcome back to Bafferty. Hi, so let me do it again. Hey. Today's a uh, very fun episode. Today's topic is adulting, a uh, term I'm not a huge fan of, but it sums this up pretty well. Mm -hmm. This actually came from our YouTube comments. Uh, we love reading those and taking uh, suggestions from there, so thank you to whoever uh, threw out the idea. Our contestants today <laughs> are for adults with years of experience being adults, all yeah. of them. Yeah. We have Noah. Hello, I am over 18. Let's do that. Yay! I am over 18, I am an adult. <laughs> Kimmy. Hi, I'm, I'm kind of baby, uh, but not really. <laughs> Ian. I have a dog. That's and almost like a kid. Damien. <laughs> Hi, my name is Den Damien Haas. I'm with Genevieve's B Plus Talent, and I'm 18 to play younger. <laughs> uh, this is about adulting. You guys are adults. Mm -hmm. You guys should feel confident. I, I mean, I, you guys are smart people. I think you're all, look, however, whoever does the worst is still gonna do better than I would do. Our topics are work, uh -huh. which is, you know, work related. Yeah. Everyday yeah. errands, which has to do with just kind of general, like everyday errands. Errands, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all about money, which is, you know, all about Money. money and then dated decorum is interesting we took actually uh stuff from magazines and everything from the 50s and we took advice from them so you're gonna have to guess what someone would advise you to do in the 50s wow oh. how to be an adult in the 50s <laughs> swallow mercury i need you to be on your best <laughs> probably <behavior. laughs> uh, we lie. Yes, we mi lie. casa <laughs> is all about the home who should go first that's uh, I think ladies. Jesus. First. I got, I hit the button. First. You know what? I love that Ian, Noah's since... like ladies. Ian's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you anyway. know what, Ian? Ian, you go first. I would love to. Thank you, Shane. Yeah. Um, could we do Mikasa Esukasa for uh, 100? You got it. Ooh. According to a 2011 study, which household room contains the most germs? Damien. Uh, this is going to be the kitchen, my guy. It is the kitchen. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, though, I thought I hit it first, and I was so sad to look over. What were you going to answer? <laughs> oh, the kitchen as well. Oh, yeah, it's the kitchen okay. for sure. Yeah, yeah, I just, obviously. Yeah. When, when something drops off wow. like a cutting board, Sorry. someone goes like, oh, I got this. I'm like, I was at this moment, I'm like, uh, kitchens are not clean. Damien, why don't you uh, pick another topic? Good job. Um, let's do, you know what? I'm very curious about uh, dated decorum. I want to know that for 50. Mm -hmm. According to a magazine from 1889, Ladies should avoid taking what at a dinner party? A. <laughs> All right, Ian, oh, enjoy it. You get to just twenty five percent taking. A, oh, a bathroom break. Incorrect. Uh, a. Alcoholic drinks. B. Cheese. C. Knives. D. Carbs. Got one from Noah. I'm gonna go alcoholic drink. Uh, we're gonna go to Kimmy. I'm gonna say carbs. They didn't know about carbs. They didn't, didn't know about carbs Sorry, what was the back second then. One? Uh, second one was cheese. I'm gonna say cheese. Got cheese. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Wow. Cheese? So the advice said, ladies seldom take cheese at a dinner party. Yeah, their advice was not to take cheese. Uh -oh. But at a party. At because a party. we know 80% of what they ate was bread and cheese. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. All right, Damien, pick another topic. I, I kind of want to see what more dated decorum has in store. Can I get that for 100, please? Yeah, you can. Thank you, Shane. And may I just say? No. <laughs> Dating decorum for a hundred points. And is this multiple choice? This is multiple choice. Thank you for letting me know. It really was his fault I'm that sorry. that happened. It was his fault. A late 1800s book of manners referred to which of the following greetings as promiscuous? A. Cheek kiss greetings. B. Full contact hugs. C. Shaking of hands. D. Pegging. <laughs> All right, we got Damien. Um, I am going to say. Um, Shaking of hands. That is correct. Oh. Wow. Nice. Then comes the promiscuous shaking of hands. <laughs> I may have much respect for a man and yet not wish to touch him. The Illustrated Book of Manners, a manual of good behavior and polite accomplishments, Robert Day Valcourt, 1866. Would this All just right, be like super scandalous? <laughs> yes. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 I can't help it. Okay, <laughs> Shane, Shane, I request to be moved. <laughs> yeah. All right, Damien, pick another topic. Oh, geez. Uh, let's go everyday errands for 50. How often, and this is not multiple choice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How often should you visit your dentist for a checkup? Uh, Ian. Uh, it's, uh, it's one Gotta have the okay, answer. Fine, 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 once a year. 
Go to Noah. Damn. Uh, I, I guess so. what is good versus what I was told to show up. I was told to show up twice a year, so once every six months. That's what they told that me. is correct. Yeah. 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 I should have stuck with that. All right, Noah, pick a topic. Uh, all right, let's. You know what? Let's do it. Work. Work at fifty. What does EOD stand for? Yeah. Uh, Noah. So fast. End of day. Yep. We all know that. Sorry. Oh, no, good. Good. Is this a thinly veiled attempt to see who checks their emails? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's do it because we haven't touched it. All about money for 50. Which of the following factors does not impact your credit score? The brand of credit you have, how long you've had a credit card, having student loans, or paying a bill late? Uh, Kimmy. I'm gonna say the brand. That is correct. Yeah. I mean that is correct. All oh, capital one. Oh, oh sorry, yeah. you have me, Zero. Master Carl. Whoa. You're bad. All right, Kimmy, pick a topic. Oh my god, I get to. Mm. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, let's just clear out the 50s. Mi casa, su casa. All right. Por favor. Nice. Which of the following items can you safely put in a dryer? A. Active wear. B. Sweaters. C. Linen sheets. D. Leather. Damien. That'd be linen sheets. That is correct. Wow. Way to go. And we are back to Damien. Pick a topic. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 <laughs> Pick a topic. Um, let's see here. You know, I, I want to keep going for the hundreds. Why don't we do uh, work for a hundred? A full-time employee is someone who typically works how many hours in a week? Uh, Damien. Sorry, 40. That is correct. <laughs> I didn't wait for you to finish. I uh, feel like that was bad. That was the end of the question. Uh, this is the most commonly accepted range, but the Department of Labor lets employers define this in their own terms, and boy, do they. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, pick a topic. Uh, Aaron's 100. According to Good Housekeeping, how frequently should you be mopping your kitchen and bathroom floors? Noah. Once every two weeks. Kimmy. Every week. That is correct! Hey! Oh! Wow! Yeah, okay, better, Kimmy. Dude. Pick a topic. God. Okay, I want I want to do that last hundred. Like, all about money. What is gross pay? Noah. Uh, so uh, gross pay is the overall amount that you're getting, but it's not the amount after expenses. So gross would just be the total that you're getting, but that's not without taking out taxes. Uh, what, it's not net is what I'm trying to say. Gross is just generally what you're getting on your contract, but not in reality what you're getting. Noah Gross, man. Oh. Got it. Oh. oh. Yeah. Ah, Way to go, it's Noah. Fair. Yeah, it's, gross pay is gross. the total amount uh, before you take out any taxes and deductions. We got a, uh, a point check in right now. We got Noah with 200 points. Woo! We got Kimmy with 150. Whoa. Ian with zero. It's a scam. Oh, really? <laughs> and Damien with 400 points. Wow. Oh, yeah. Noah, <laughs> go ahead and pick a topic. Uh, let's do data decorum for 150. In a 1921 letter to incoming freshmen at the University of Michigan, which of the following things was cited as a dangerous disease in a college town? A, premarital sex. B, skipping church. C, gonorrhea. D, movie mania. Damien. Skipping church. We're gonna go to Kimmy. I'm gonna say premarital sex. Uh, Ian. What, what year is this? 1921. Sure, movie mania. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> nice. uh, a very dangerous disease in a college town is the movie mania. Don't spend all of dad's money on a fairy tale, on the screen or otherwise. Wow. Oh what a mess. Yeah. yeah, but we do that every year. Like in the 80s, they're like, no d d it'll make you love the devil. And you're like, that was true. What? All right, Ian, pick a topic. Uh, I'll do um, all about the money for one video. <laughs> Got it. What is a money order? Goes to Noah. Uh, the money order, uh, wouldn't that be like ordering checks? Ordering Gonna checks. go to Damien. Uh, a money order is something that you get from a bank or a uh, credit union uh, where that money is basically being held by them. It basically acts in place of a check. Uh, it is. It belongs to whomever owns it at the time and holds on to it, so you have to be very careful with it. Um, it yeah, it's like a purchased one-time use check. That is yeah. correct. Okay. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, it is similar to a check, but the payment is guaranteed as the sender must pay it, pay for the money order in full before receiving. Wow. Anyways, I'm a oh. premier Damien, member. pick a topic. Uh, let's do uh, Mikasa Sukasa for uh, 150. Proper budgeting suggests that your rent should be no more than what percentage of your total monthly income? I did do fasting, it's hard. Ah, go ahead. I'm Kenny. sorry, I was like, I don't know, my Just fingers. Do um, a quarter. Or go to Damien. Uh, it's a it's a third or thirty three percent. We're gonna go with Damien. That's it's thirty percent. Right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Well, I said thirty three. I don't know. All right. Close enough. <laughs> Damien, pick another topic. Let's do 
work, work for 150. Got it. What kind of insurance replaces an employee's lost wages due to an injury sustained at work? Uh, Ian. Workman's comp. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ian. Let's go with everyday errands for 150. Uh, everyday errands for 150. How can you tell which side a car's gas tank is on without getting out of it? Uh, Noah. Uh, what's it called? Usually on the inside of the thing, there's an arrow that, that points to it. Um, oh, that's so hard to say, but the symbol will have that, an arrow. That's correct. Yeah. You said arrow. Wow. That's oh, fair. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. There's Dude, an when indicator. I learned that, that changed my life. It's there's so an so indicator easy, arrow you know? on the dash next to the gas icon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. little point. That, it's insane when you learn things like, I just, I just learned that elevators yeah. ding twice for going down and ding once for going. Oh, I didn't know. What? No way. And I what? was no like, way. no. No way. Yes, no it's way. part no. of it. It's a, it's a disabilities act because people who with wow. vision they need to be able to know if it's going up or down. Bro, that's they get so smart. And I, I've, been, I've been hearing it now, and I'm like, dude. <laughs> Noah, go ahead. That blew my mind. Uh, I like the past. Let's talk about dated decorum 200. <laughs> Sorry, Damien. You can. So I'm talking on my own spit. Yeah, go for it. Do you want to uh, just let out a big cough? Time. Before okay. we do anything? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> a 1930s psychologist developed oh, no. a marital rating scale which itemized both good and bad qualities in spouses. Which of the following options was not considered a bad quality in a wife? A. She plays a musical instrument. B. She comes to bed when husband is almost asleep. C. She wears red nail polish. D. She wears aprons around the house. Uh, Noah. I'm gonna go with B. Gonna go to Kimmy. Um, I'm gonna say she plays a musical instrument. That is correct! Oh. Wow. That's, been, that's been a thing for a while. Like, a, a proper lady must play an instrument. Where is your, har where is your harpsichord? <laughs> right. Kimmy, pick um, a topic. Okay, uh, uh, 200 work. What does COO stand for? Ian. Chief Operating Officer. I'm glad you got that one. <laughs> wow. All right, Ian. Air day errands. That target throw pillow you bought doesn't work as well as you thought it would. How many days do you have to return it? Kimmy. Well, as long as you got, uh, uh, forever. forever. Damien. <laughs> you have 30 days. Uh, Noah. I think it's 45. Ian, you want to you want a shot at this? Yeah, sure. Seven days. Wow. I thought it was is it 30. 90? Wow. Is, it, is it two weeks? Is it 90? It's 90. 90. Yeah. 90! Wow. Oh, damn! 90 or 45, it. it was one of the two. Nobody gets it. Nobody. <laughs> well, uh, Ian, why don't you pick another? Yeah, sure. Let's do Mikasa Sukasa for 200. Okay. Yeah. Al dente, the term we use to describe the ideal pasta texture translates to what? A, when done. B, to the tooth. C, to the wall. D, when complete. Damien. Uh, to the tooth. That is correct. Yeah. Dente. Dente like gentle. Right. Uh, uh, Damien. Who'd you wish I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll do 200 money time. All right, here we go. $200. <laughs> what is the difference between a traditional and a Roth 401k retirement account? I knew it was going to be a question. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, let's, let's just see. A traditional one versus the Roth 401k is I believe the Roth 401k you can open up yourself and you don't need a business in order to do or like working with a job or is it the opposite? Well, Dustin's shaking his head, so guess what, Dustin? <laughs> well, Dustin, uh, for 200 points. <laughs> We're going to go to Ian. The difference so, is the, the, the Roth is you don't pay taxes until you take it out. Uh, we're going to go to Kimmy. It's like the opposite of what Noah said. So Roth is like an individual um, 401k you start, and 401k is one that's sponsored by a business that you work for. Ian's closer? Ian's okay. closest well, there's so still a far. Damien, would you Damien, like take, the take the context <laughs> Take the context <laughs> first. Up, Damien? Put it together. Put yeah. it all together. So, uh -huh. say everything. Uh -huh. For Ian, it's, okay, so a Roth 401k is <laughs> when you, 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 don't, so, I don't know. <laughs> you pay taxes before investing money into a Roth 401k, so you can take it out tax-free. You don't pay taxes on a traditional 401k until you take the money out of the account. Right, so oh. I got switched. Yeah. Got it. Of course, we should have known that you, Roth you, is You rich told people. me about that. You well, me. yes, You've but I didn't know there was a Roth. You've literally been like, 401ks, you don't pay taxes on. Yeah, like, so but I don't, what's a Roth, man? <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for Final Bepardy. Um, let's get a point tally really quick. Uh, we got Noah with 350 points. Ooh. Kimmy with 350 points. Oh. Ian yeah. with 500 points, Damn. and oh, Damien with 900 points. Oh. Yeah. Um, wow. So, Spooky. pretty crazy. Now it's time for Final Bepardy. 
And what's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna give you guys the category. You will then uh, wager mm. how many of your points you'd like to put on this. You can't wager more than I you have. I wager a million. <laughs> you can, you can <laughs> only <laughs> wager smart. No, because it's a have. Roth wager. So I took yeah. the deduction <laughs> out before. The category is big adult purchase. Big mm. adult purchase. <laughs> right. So you can only wager how many points you have. So you can, so Noah, Kimmy, you guys can wager a maximum of 350 points. Ian, you can wager a maximum of 500. Damien can wager up to 900 points. I think you should wager all your points. Though. I think you should also keep giving me good advice. Okay, I'll do that. Are you guys ready? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Without, without going over, <laughs> How much does this used 2016 Toyota Camry SE car cost? When when was it listed? How many miles? How many miles? Yeah. yeah. We're not. Uh... <laughs> Bro, come on. All right, please reveal your answers. All right. What did y'all say? Oh. Wow, oh. Kimmy. Oh man. Very. Si oh my God, Noah, Kimmy, and I are so yes. close. Oh jeez. Wow. So Noah, I did fourteen thousand eight hundred ninety-one dollars and eleven cents. Okay, Kimmy. I did fifteen thousand dollars. All right. I did twenty three thousand one oh nine. Interesting, Damien. I did fifteen two fifty. And uh, now we'll go one by one and reveal your wagers. I wagered nineteen dollars thirty six and nine cents. Okay, yeah. Kimmy. Yeah, what I got to lose? All in, baby. Three fifty. All right, <laughs> Ian. Well, I wanted to go all in, but I figured I'd save a little bit just in case everyone else went all in and got it wrong. <laughs> so uh, I, I wagered four hundred ninety eight. Smart. Damien. I made a strategic 300. Smart. The price of this We're used winners, 2016 Toyota Camry SE is 17,277. Oh. Wow. Oh, which means, means Damien oh. is the winner. Hey. Damien! I want a card! Yeah, you're gonna take it home! I want a card! So, the final tallies of Beperty Adulting. Noah with 331 points. Um. Probably there's probably some sense in there, but no. Uh, okay. Kimmy, you got zero. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> uh, Ian with two, and Damien with twelve hundred points. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Damien got a card. Thank you. Mine sucks. So how Damien, it goes. you can put all twelve hundred of those into your Roth. 401k. Oh, good. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and please let us know in the comments what type of categories we should do for this. Uh, anything, any type of topic. Let's test our knowledge. Um, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for playing. And uh, there's more videos down here. We've wow. done a whole lot of these. So watch us be wow. smart. Uh, Cause the categories are crazy. Wow. There's one on memes. What? Whoa! Well, wow. It's so wow. weird. There's we should one. do one all on you. All oh, Shane top. All Shane, Shane top. All Shane top. That Shane top Beperty, and yes. I should be a contestant, and I'll lose. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs>